Okay, now that you have purchased your autoresponder, let's log in to your autoresponder, your get response, and let me show you how to set it up, alright? So the first thing you need to do is go to getrespond.com. Alright, go to getrespond.com, and once you are here, I want you to scroll or move to the right hand side of the screen. On the right hand side, you have this, you see this thing called account login. Okay, click on this account login, put in your username and password, and then click login. Alright, so once you log in, you'll be able to see your uh, get respond main page here. here this is your dashboard. Alright. Okay, so let me just briefly go through with you uh, what does this mean. Okay, this is your dashboard. This whole picture is your dashboard. Okay, if you have any support issues that you want, um, uh, you want some help from GetRespond, you may want to go to support. Or if you want to upgrade your account, uh, there's a lot of functions that you can actually use in GetRespond. But uh, I won't suggest you get it. If you want, you can upgrade your account. If not, you can on and my account. It's basically when you can change your profile, you can change your password, update your password, update your your, your email address, and so on. Okay. So anyway, the most important thing I want to share with you guys is this. Alright, so over here, this is where your dashboard is. Alright, and this is where your campaign. This is where you can set up your campaigns. Alright, and this is context. Everything you have to do with your list, your subscribers, all will be here. Alright, and this is the messages. This is where you set your messages. Okay, and this is your statistics. Okay, you can see what kind of statistics, sales statistics, subscription statistics, or performance statistics. Okay? And of course, you can also do a survey. And of course, here is the multimedia where you can use your audio and your videos and photos as well. Okay, so now the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to set up a campaign to, to set up your autoresponder. You need to set up your campaign first, right? So that uh, get a respond know which campaign to use. For your squeeze page, alright. So go to campaigns, click on campaign, create new campaign. Okay, under campaigns, click on create new campaigns. Click on this. Alright, so this is where you can create a new campaign for your database. Alright, so now let's. I'll uh, usually the campaign name I will follow my domain name. Okay, because along later on, later on, no, a couple of months or even years down the road, you may have different domain names. Right, so it may be a bit difficult if you are if you if you doesn't tag your campaign to your domain name because you may not know where the leads come from and since you have so many domain names you don't know which domain name uh, which 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 campaign this campaign belong to which domain name. So let's say I have an internet business called ABC Internet Business. Let's say I have a domain name called ABC Internet Business dot com. I will put in my campaign name as ABC Internet Business dot com. Uh, ABC Internet Business, that's it. Alright, so once I'm done, I will click on Create New Campaign. Alright, so, okay, guys, one told me that uh, they actually have people who have used this domain name, uh, who have used this campaign name, so I will use a different campaign name. So, I may use ABC Internet Business 01. Alright, let me just try this. Okay, it works. Alright, so now campaign name ABC Internet Business 01 has been successfully created. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is to do the setting. Alright, so what we need to do is just click on settings over here. Okay, so as you can see over here, here's the general, here's the settings. Alright, so there are one, two, three, four, five, five settings we need to do: general language, message, contact, and RSS. Okay, so when you're doing your setting right now. One thing you need to take note of is that your current campaign, make sure it's the one that you just set up. Okay, for me, it's ABC Internet Business 01. Okay, make sure that your campaign name is the campaign name that you just set up. Alright, so now let's go to general setting. Okay, we will look through the general setting one by one. Alright, so now let's go to the general settings. Alright, you, one thing you need to take note of is that you will only change, you will only change the things that I tell you to change, all right? The rest of it, please don't touch it, all right? Only change the things that I ask you to change, all right? So email to speech has nothing to add right now. Okay, if you see, you can scroll down. All right. Okay, you can, um, okay, now over here, email reports. All right, so this one is where um, get response. Every time you have a leads or in, Get respond or email you the reports. Okay, you can send it on a weekly basis or daily basis up to you. All right, we just set it as weekly. All right, and performance performance report we we'll set it as weekly. Okay. 
All right, so block announcement. Okay, poster address. All right, now every autoresponder that you use and every emails that you send out need to have your physical email address. Okay, make sure you have your own physical email address inside. All right. Okay, once you're done, go to click on save settings. Right? The good news is there's nothing much we need to change right now. Okay, so once you're done, let's click on language setting. Let's go to language setting. Alright, so let's scroll down. Let me see what else we need to change. Okay, good news is nothing much we need to change in language setting. So just save the settings. Alright, the third thing we need to do is just click on message setting. Okay. Okay, first thing is that I need to untick this click through tracking. Okay, we don't need to use this. We don't need, we don't need to set it on all the time. Okay, we only use click through setting when we are typing out our emails. All right, open rate, yes. Scroll down. Okay, nothing much we need to change. Save, save it now. Click on save. Okay, once you're done, let's go on to context. Okay, so under here is email notification, email forward, opt-in settings. Okay, now, one thing you need to take note of is this opt-in settings, all right? So this is where you set up your single or opt-in, right? single opt-in or double opt-in, okay? So now, confirmation page URL is where you need to put in your affiliate products, okay? Confirmation page URL is where you need to put in your affiliate products. So over here, we will need to put in your affiliate product number one. Alright, so over here you need to put in your affiliate product number one. Alright, so look for the affiliate product number one link. Okay, let's say let's assume this is my affiliate product number one URL affiliate link. Okay, I'll put it here. Okay, so this means that the moment when you have a subscriber who opt in to your squeeze page, you will send them to this confirmation page URL, which is your affiliate product number one. Okay. Alright, so once you're done, enable confirm opt-in. Confirm opt-in for another name is called double opt-in. Alright, so I want you to uncheck these three boxes. Okay, uncheck these three boxes. Okay, so this right now, our uh, we have changed the setting to single opt-in. Okay, right now we have changed it to single opt-in. If you want to have double opt-in, you will check the boxes here. Okay, but for but I would strongly suggest that you use single opt-in. Okay, so untick all the box. Okay, so once you're done, scroll down. Okay, customize removal page. Okay, so now let me give you a ten star tips. All right, so right now. In every email, in every email, there's always an unsubscribe link right at the bottom. Okay, in every email, there's always an unsubscribe link right at the bottom. So since uh, and that is for for your subscribers, if they don't like you or they don't, if they don't want to receive any more message from you, okay, they can actually opt out of your emails. Okay, they can actually opt out of your emails. So, but since they are going, since they are going away. Seems that if you have a subscriber who so decided to opt out of the email and they don't want to, they don't want to uh, receive your emails anymore, why don't we send them a farewell gift? Okay, so a farewell gift will be to send them to another sales page. Since they are leaving, why don't we send them to another sales page? Okay, so we may want to put in your second affiliate product link down here. Okay, your second affiliate product link. All right, down here. Okay. Okay, and also over here as well, right? So you need to put into website as customized removal page. The website URL you put in your second affiliate product here, second affiliate link, and your customized removal page URL put in your second affiliate link here as well. Okay, so once you are done, scroll down, and then just click on save settings. All right. 
Okay, okay, now we have saved our contact settings. The next thing we need to do is just click on this RSS. Okay, scroll down your RSS. Let me see if there's anything. Okay, there's nothing much we need to change. Just click on save setting. Okay, that's it. Alright, we have successfully set up our campaign. Okay, your campaign has been set up. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is to create our follow-up emails so that the autoresponder will send emails to your list automatically on its own.